Hey guys, in this quick tip video, I'll show you how to easily fade your video to black or from black if that's what you want. So don't go away. Hey guys, and welcome to this Final Cut Pro quick tip. If you like this sort of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And if you're in a super hurry, I'll put timestamps in the description below so you can jump straight to the part you want. So let's get into it. Sometimes we don't want a fancy transition to start or end a clip. That's when it's nice just to have a simple fade to black. In Final Cut Pro 10, there's a fade to color transition, but if you're transitioning from or to a short clip, sometimes you get this message that there isn't enough space and you spend even more time faffing around trying to fix it. So that's why, for a simple fade to black, I prefer to do it manually, and I'll show you exactly how. And make sure you stick around until the very end, and I'll share a bonus tip with you on how to quickly adjust the timing and speed of the fade. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro. Okay, so I've placed a sample clip in the project timeline, and say for instance, you wanted this bit to fade to black. So I'm wrapping up the video, and I want it to fade out slowly. So set the playhead to about one or two seconds back from the end. Select the clip, go up here to the video inspector, and then next to opacity, click the key, the keyframe button. So that's gonna lock in that 100% opacity at that particular point in time. Go back down to your clip, hit the down arrow to go to the end of the clip, go back up to opacity, slide it all the way down to zero, and there you go. You've done. So let's just go back over here and we'll play it. Reaction two. Be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Boom. There you have it. That's what it looks like. But let's say for example at the other end of the clip we wanted it to fade in from black. So we do pretty much the same but kind of in reverse. So select the clip, make sure we're at the very beginning, go up to the video inspector, drag the opacity all the way down to zero because we want it to be black, lock that value in, go back down to your clip, move it along a couple of seconds, go back up to your video inspector, drag the video opacity to 100%, Final Cut Pro will automatically put in a keyframe for you and let's see what that looks like. There we go, a nice smooth fade in from black. So here's the bonus tip. Let's say you wanted to slow down or speed up the transition from black to full opacity, or in the case of the end of the clip, from full opacity to black. Here's how. Simply right click on the clip and open up video animation. Up here, where it says opacity, you will see the keyframes that have been placed at this end of the clip. So if you want to speed up the effect, just drag the keyframes closer, or if you want to slow it down, drag them further apart. So let's drag them further apart, and let's see what happens. Well, I have to say I'm pretty stoked with that. So it slows the effect down. When you're finished with that, just click on the X to close the video animation box. So there you go guys, a quick and simple way to fade to black or vice versa. If you're into Final Cut Pro, you might like to check out this video where I'll show you how to create your own title presets, or this one on how to save a combination of the effects you use most often as your very own effects preset. Hey, if you got value from the video, please hit the like button, and if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next video.